Hey, what's up guys? Joe Simpson here. This is going to be an after hours wine drinking lure review. It's not a thing. I'm just going to do this because it's been a long day and I want to go over some new stuff that I got. And I had some leftover red wine in this bottle from yesterday. And I don't even know how to say it, but it's from Argentina and it's good. Anyway, I've got some new treats here today. Are we allowed to drink online? I don't think that's like a thing, right? That's not like against the rules of YouTube. That's grape juice, so don't sweat it. All right, so you know I've been doing the BFS and I've been doing the ultralight lure and I've been doing a lot of Asian and overseas lure acquisition quest lately. Got a whole batch of lures on order. I got the Pompadour the other day and like I said, Pat and I, we ordered up a whole bunch of new stuff and they're coming and it's on the way, but I got impatient and I wanted to play with some buggy lures and I've seen these before and I think you pronounce it Realis and they're called the Duo International and these things are really cool. Let me see if I can get it to focus here. This is a cicada imitation. It is from Japan. It's Duo International and it is um, Realis. I, I hear them referred to as Duo Realis, so I'm not really sure what the naming order and who gets credit and who the inventor versus who the manufacturer, or all that stuff is. Don't really care. Just want to use it because this thing is super cool. Let me give you a close up view. That's not close up. It's little. It is four and a half gram, no, 5.7 grams. It has two number 10 hooks. Let me see if I can get a focus there. I don't know if that's focused, but we'll try. It has two number 10 hooks. It's got a little feather trailer. It's got little shaky rubber guys on the side. And it's got those little forward pointing blades or wings like you see on the uh, pompadour, which causes this lure to do like a, a forward overhand swim motion. But what I really like about this lure is when you see it cast and how it drops on the water, it really falls on the water like a bug. And you can twitch it, twitch it, twitch it in place and kind of make it vibrate on the water surface. Or you could just reel this thing in on a steady reel in and it'll do that overhand little pompadour type swimming motion. Um, the hooks are a little sketchy. They're skinny and little. But, you know, this is a little lure, so I don't know that I'm going to go replace these hooks with something big and heavy right away. I think I'll just use it the way it is, and if they start to bend or give me problems, I'll probably just replace them. So this is your guy right here. This is the Duo International Realis Cicada Imitation. Now, this is the white one. Uh, when it comes to top water, I tend to just go with uh, light or dark. I did like the fact that this had a little bit of a stain to it in the body. And if you want to look at this thing on the side, really cool. And here's the belly. And this has a two-piece construction, um, which allows you to take these wings out and replace them and replace some parts and do some customizations. But these, the way it sits, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. Um, this thing looks real. I mean, that thing sitting in the water says, eat me bass all over it. Here's the brown one. Here's the brown face. I'm way off center here. Here's the belly. And a little side view action there. I'm trying to give you as much view as I can. That looks good, but hard to get this thing in focus. Um, yeah, it looks really sharp. I mean, you can even see, I don't know if you guys can see from your angle, but you can even see the the wing veins through this thing. But yeah, that's a really killer looking lure and it's got like, there we go. Now you can kind of see the color of that lure come through. And you can kind of see when I do that with the wing, you can see the veins in the wing. So it's got a very realistic look to it. Kind of a semi-translucent body and it really looks nice. I honestly think these two lures could be winner winner chicken dinner, man. These are gonna be awesome. Um, I don't know how they're gonna hold up under pressure with a big fish. They're gonna be really good baits 
when it comes to finesse fishing, fishing up tight around bushes, pond fishing, those slow summer days when it's really tough to get a bite and you're just trying to tease a fish into taking a chance. These will come in really handy. I got these off of Tackle Warehouse, so they're not something you have to pay a ton of shipping to get overseas. I don't remember exactly how much they cost. I don't, I don't think they were cheap, um, but I don't think they were like $30. I think they were like maybe 15 or 16 bucks. Uh, maybe less than that, maybe 10 or 12. Honestly, I don't remember, but I'm gonna give them a whirl. And rather than sit here and talk with you guys all night and bore you with more details about this lure that I'm not actually fishing with right at the moment, I'll just get it out on the water and do some fishing and see you know, how this thing works and what it does and hopefully can demonstrate that it does work. Um, anyway, have a great night. I'll talk to you guys soon. And uh, I'm gonna leave you with a little catch that I had the other day on my pompadour. First topwater fish of 2018. And it was on the pompadour and it was like four inches off of the bank. But anyway, I call it a win. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Cheers. <laughs> On the pompadour, baby. First topwater bass of 2018. He didn't stand a chance either. Come on. Whenever you're ready. Look at that, guys. Micro pompadour. He may stop shaking eventually.